So uh, one big question mark that uh, comes in the mind of a rider when he is about to uh, pick up his next super bike is actually the level of after sale service that he can expect from the brand of the motorcycle that he's going to purchase. Um, unfortunately, uh, without demeaning any brand, uh, I could say that uh, the levels of that service in India are unfortunately not to what we would expect in another country. So they could be just about okay, just about okay where your bike comes back to you in one piece. But uh, I have not had an experience where I have said, wow, this is awesome. So uh, that's a big criteria actually when people go and uh, pick out the super bikes. And in fact, a lot of people change their thought process of picking out one bike and picking up another bike because they're too scared that the bike would not get the kind of uh, uh, after sale service that it deserves. And uh, they're right on their part because uh, you're spending lakhs and lakhs of rupees on buying a super bike. So you do expect a certain level of reciprocation as far as uh, after sale service is concerned. However, the good part is that uh, I don't have any apprehensions of this sort when I'm about to pick up a super bike because I have one dude with me. He's a dude when it comes to taking care of a motorcycle. I can't call him a technician. I can't call him like a mechanic. He is on another level. So I probably the only thing I can call him is a bike wizard. And I have seen this guy in action. I have seen what this guy can do. And I can actually just close my eyes and purchase any bike in the world and be confident that this guy will know how to take care of it. So there are times when the company itself, uh, the brand itself could not fix certain issues of a motorcycle. But this guy could just finish it off just as if it was uh, something easy. So. Uh, this gentleman's name is Stuart. Uh, I have known Stuart personally for many, many years. He's my bike doctor. He's a bike doctor to a lot of people because no matter what the ailment is, this guy makes sure that your bike goes back happy. So I have done uh, my ride to Singapore on my Tiger. I've done my ride uh, to Ladakh and several other places on several motorcycles. So this is the guy that has made sure that I have gone to my location and come back in one piece so i'm really indebted to him for always having taken care of me otherwise a vacation can turn miserable if your motorcycle doesn't support you um, so whether you have a java or a vintage bsa or a vintage triumph that you want to restore this guy does it you want to prep up your bike for track this guy does it you want to hypercharge your engine make it 200 bhp 400 bhp this guy does it i've actually seen this guy taking a Z, taking a zx 14 r and pimp it from 200 bhp to 400 bhp he can take out a bike inside out do whatever he has to with it and put it all back so whether a mouse has bitten into your electricals and you don't know what's happening or it's adding some accessories some protection uh, tuning your suspension bleeding out your brake lines this guy from A to Z, you name the bike, it could be a Ducati, a Honda, a Kawasaki, Aprilia, without any bias I could tell you that the guys who work at the company itself, who go to let's say a Japan from Kawasaki or an Italy from Ducati, who go to the countries and learn from the professionals, this guy can outdo them easily with his eyes closed. So. I think I owe it to this guy to actually uh, let the world know that there is a bike doctor in town by the name of Stuart and I am so happy with his work. Um, over the years I've owned a Kawasaki, an Aprilia, um, a Triumph, a Harley and such several other brands. I don't need to tell this guy anything, he just seems to know it. It's almost like the bike talks to him, you know. So people come to him from wherever with whatever bikes. And this guy doesn't need to be told what's wrong. It's like almost the bike speaks to him. And for that, he is called a bike doctor. Doesn't matter what the ailment is, he just fixes the ailment. So right now I'm here at his uh, workshop and I've got my Aprilia here. I'm changing the pipes, putting on some aftermarket uh, levers, some protection here and there. So let's just say a quick hello right now, yeah? So that's uh, a set of bikes here that uh, he's taking care of. I think we have a V-Storm and we have the Busa. And 
these are all the other bikes that are currently uh, in the lineup which uh, um, are having some work done here and there so as i mentioned it could be the most sophisticated machine in the world like an h2 or it could be something a little old school like this honda here which no electronics you know it takes a great amount of effort to actually have the skills and the knowledge to actually uh, learn how to service each and every bike or to get to know where each and every element of a bike part is and a small screw up here and there can actually hamper the safety of the bike but this guy knows his stuff really well and uh, as of now the bike wizard mr stewart he is working on my aprilia stu how's it going bro hey how's it going so this guy doesn't talk so much he lets his work do all the talking so, and i don't disturb him when he is uh, uh, at work so what are we doing right now right now we are Going to be changing the front visor. Okay. Got the new exhaust. Right. That's the SE project which Sam has got for his bike. Right. A very tasteful exhaust. So. Right. That's going to be really loud. It's going to be a screamer. Nice. Uh, we've got the lever still on. Right. Okay. So I've I've given you a good good day's work, yeah. <laughs> so I'm I I've made sure that he burns his 500 calories for the day. Okay. Please continue your work, yeah. So uh, guys, uh, signing off for the for the day. But um, if you are in Bombay and you love your bike, you love your super bikes, you know who to call. You know who to uh, get your bike to. Mr. Stewart is right here. And uh, let me know if you need anything else. All right. Ciao.